Now, I am moving on to a sweet chocolate peanut butter bars. So, this is funny. Not so long ago, my youngest son, Luca, called, and he said, we're having a bake sale tomorrow morning. Can you make me something? So, this, by the way, is four tablespoons of butter that I'm gonna melt in my pan. And I was really in a hurry, and I thought, okay, I had some chocolate chips in the freezer. I made them chocolate chip cookies. I thought they were great, because what could be better than homemade chocolate chip cookies? So then, I didn't hear anything of it. Then about a week later, with like no time to spare, he calls and he says, can I have something for the bake sale? You know, it's at 11 in the morning. And I was like, oh, well then I'll just have some chocolate chip cookies. He goes, yeah, those were good, but could you make something dank? And I was like, dank? You know how the words change and, and uh, new words come and go? So dank was sort of dingy and wet and gross when I last checked. But apparently dank now means like the most amazing thing you could ever eat, more delicious than a chocolate chip cookie. So I looked around, consulted with a friend, six cups of mini marshmallows, by the way, and we were dealing with the pantry at this point too, so you didn't have a lot to do, and I thought dank, 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 dank. Like, I started thinking about some of those ice cream flavors where they've got all kinds of stuff mushed into the ice cream. So this is what I came up with. And not only apparently was it dank, it was mad dank, which means very, very, very good. So now I have 12 ounces of crunchy peanut butter going in here. You know what this is. This is a uh, puffed rice treat. We've had so many over the years, so many different kinds, and I'm just putting in about 12 ounces of that and mixing it around. These marshmallows start to melt down pretty much right away and get that mixed up with the peanut butter and make sure your pan's not too high. And then I have about eight ounces of chocolate chips. Now so far this is all stuff that you could just have in the pantry, right? Whatever you have and just, you know, get it all together. Now, this is coming together pretty quickly. Okay, six cups of puffed rice. I'm afraid that I was so excited to tell you about this mad dank recipe that I got a little bit ahead of myself. It's kind of better if you, for, if you let your uh, marshmallows melt down completely before you add your chocolate and peanut butter. But you know what, it worked just fine. And then, just because I had some of this in there too, I thought, what's a couple cups of pretzels? Then you're getting your, your salty sweet hit there. And I think that's what really hooked everybody who loved this recipe. And then you just want to melt this. And at this point, I am going to take the heat off completely and just get these pieces of cereal and pretzel completely mixed up. I'm going to taste it. Oh, yum. All right, I have a nine by 13 inch pan over here. And what I've done is just prepared it with a little bit of butter and parchment. So when this is all chilled and ready to go, I can just lift it right out and cut it. Now apparently the only problem at this bake sale while we were raising money for the soccer team is that there wasn't enough of this. So if you're gonna try to make this, I would suggest you make two pans, one for the bake sale and one for the house. Now all you have to do once you get there is just pat it down into the corners and make sure that you have it even all the way around. Nibble a little as you go. So all I have to do now is just let this cool and then cut it into bars, however big or small you'd like. And